So let me tell you a quick horror story. A client called us the other day, frantic that the bank had frozen their account. And being the person that I was, I was so frustrated, I was ready to call the bank and ask them, how dare you? But when we probed more into the situation, we realized that that client was actually operating their business from their personal bank account. Do you know what's worse than operating your business without being registered? Operating your business from your personal bank account. This is why we have with us today Ms. Kamisika Lynch, a business banking officer from National Commercial Bank, to inform us about the importance of opening a business bank account. Thank you so much for being here today, Ms. Lynch. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. So the first question is, can someone use their personal account to, open a to operate a business? We don't recommend that. Right. We recommend that they keep it separate. Um, we can't. We don't like to commingle funds any at all, mm -hmm. and for various reasons. So we always ask customer if you're operating a business, um, open a business account and have your personal account separated from your business. And tell me about why that is. Why is it that you recommend that? Okay. Um, first of all, there is. Several reasons why we tell customers if you're operating a business, get formal. Um, one reason is that your accounting purposes. You don't want your accountant to be um, looking where you spend your personal um, than your business, and it's very, very hard. So, in terms of bookkeeping, it is best if you open your business account. Right. Um, second of all, when you're dealing with other persons like your suppliers, your friends, you want them to know that your business is legitimate. Right. So what we ask, so I would recommend that you open a business account, because if I'm going to pay you some some money, say you do a, a service for me, right. I want to know that I'm doing I'm doing business with a legitimate, legitimate. person, right. um, person of um, substance, mm -hmm. in case of anything. Mm -hmm. So you want to lodge that money into a business account and not a personal account. Per right. If you keep that personal account, I'm going to say this person is very informal. And I might not want to be doing business with someone that's really informal. Right. So I, I, me personally, prefer to do some um, business with someone that have a business account. I think a majority se. of persons are like this, especially with the scamming that's happening these yes. days. Yes. Um, I would rather, so it's not just you that's in that mood, I personally would rather send my money to John's Auto Parts than to John Brown because John Brown may run out with my money and I may not see him again, but if I'm sp sending my money to John's Auto Parts, at least I know that John is a legitimate business and I reduce the risk reduce right the there. Risk. Right, so it's about um, bookkeeping and then the bookkeeping ties back to your taxes as well. Exactly. Right, because if you're not doing proper bookkeeping, then you won't be able to properly file your taxes. Exactly. So that's the trick. Um, so, okay, so these are the benefits to opening a business bank account. Well, these are the reasons why you should open a business bank account. Why do you freeze it? Is it that important? Why is it? What's the, 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 the tactic behind that? Why is it that you freeze the account when you realize or how, when do you freeze it? I'm not sure if it's a um, national thing, but with NCB, if we see a certain amount of money passing through the, the, the personal account, mm -hmm. um, there's some red flags. And uh, we normally try to contact the customer first thing first. Or if the customer comes into the bank, we'll have a conversation with the customer to say, um, we see this amount of money coming in, are you operating a business? Mm -hmm. um, if we don't, if we can't get you to this person, for instance, they're using the ATM, they're using um, other source right. of sending in this money into mm -hmm. their account, and we can't um, physically um, contact this person, because right. sometimes you know numbers have changed, right. and we can't physically, so what we'll do is freeze the account, just for them to come in, just for them to get right. their attention to say, come, we need to have this conversation. Right. Let us let us do this properly, mm -hmm. right? So that is why we actually freeze the account. Mm -hmm. Just to, and, and if we have been talking to the customer over and over again, right. and we still see that it is still happening, mm -hmm. then we're gonna freeze the account. Okay, yeah. so if it, after you freeze the account and the customer then comes in to deal with the situation, what it is? what do they do to remedy or to take the account off of hold? No, no, we will have the conversation mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll tell them to open the business. If, if right. they're not registered, mm -hmm. we'll say go and register mm -hmm. a company, um, come back and we'll open your business account. Right. Um, so once we see where, maybe sometimes the customer will stop depositing 
these large amounts of funds right. into their account. Right. Um, but once we have the conversation with the customer, we're going to unfreeze their account. Right. And then we'll watch their account to see if the customer has gone back right. to doing like, the same thing. Right. So most times what the customer will do is actually go and register their business. Okay. And then we'll facilitate the opening of their business account. All right. So facilitate the opening of the business bank account. Tell us about the documents that are required to open the account. So, Okay, so you know we have sole trader, partnership, and a limited liability company. Now, once a business is registered for up to 18 months, these are the documents that we, we require. Right. Your registration, so we're talking about a limited liability company now. So we need your TCC, your registration, your articles of association, um, and a, ca a one-year cash flow projection. Once. So if, you, if you're safer to be just being registered, mm -hmm. right? However, you have some persons that have companies that registered long ago, right. but they haven't opened a business bank account. Right. Now, if 18 months have passed, mm -hmm. we'll ask for additional information. Mm -hmm. So we'll ask you to provide your financial statement. Mm -hmm. If you not you weren't being operated, say you registered, but you weren't being operated any at all, we'll say, okay, get a public accountant to give us a letter to say that you weren't operating, um, you just started, yes, you registered long ago, but we have just started operating. Mm -hmm. So this, they'll write us a letter to say the customer wasn't operating right. at all. Or you can do a, um, a file your tax return. Your right. real tax return will show us that you oh, weren't okay. operating. Okay. Right. And what if, it's a, if it is that you were operating for more than 18 months, but you're just now coming in to open the account? So. Right, so we need the financials. Right. Um, the financial statement right. to show. And will, the, will those need to be audited? Not necessarily. If it's coming from a public accountant, mm -hmm. you'll take it. Okay. Not a chartered accountant, a public accountant. Right. And these accountants are listed on the internet. All right. We call them the RPA, it does Google, Google RPAs, right. um, registered public accountants, and you'll see all the persons who are registered as an accountant. Okay. So for the limited liability company, you mentioned that you need the registration certificate, the articles of incorporation, the TCC, and the financial documents. Right. So for the sole trader and the partnership, the registration document, because they don't have the articles. Right. So the only thing that is left off that is the articles. The articles. Right. So for, for the partnership and the sole trader, mm -hmm. we need the registration and the TCC and the cash flow projection. And for the limited liability company, you also need the company to have a seal as right. well. Right. Must have a seal. <laughs> yes. It must have a seal. Right. So while the partnership and the sole trader is not required a seal, a company seal, a limited liability do require a company seal. Right. It's a must. So Mr. Lynch, tell me, like, what is the process like? So I'm ready to open an account now. I have all these documents. So what is the process like with NCB going forward? Okay. So now, since COVID, mm -hmm. we, to avoid the traffic, and the wait time, we email these documentation to the customer. Right. So if the customer calls in and wants to open a business account, mm -hmm. first of all, you have to set an appointment. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we email you all documents that are required to be completed. Right. After you complete these documents, you can just go online, www.jncb.com, and set your appointment. Right. You come in at that point in time with your documentation completed. Right. So you'll have customers that walk in. Say for instance you don't know all of this and you just walk into the bank so right. you want to open a business account. We'll give you the documentation and send it to go and open, um, register, make your appointment. Because right. we start our appointment system just to avoid um, persons coming, complaining that they have been waiting so long. Right. And um, the, 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 the company documents mm -hmm. are more tedious. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> I know. Yes, it, is, it, is, it is. We have more documentation. It's not like right. a personal account. You just come in, right. you do everything online. Right. However, there's a lot more documentation to be completed when you open a company account. Right, and that's why we give you the documents prior to coming in to to reduce the wait, wait time. time. Right. right, so that's what we do. All right, so um. When you have all these documents, you have everything, you're ready to, you set your appointment and you visit the branch that you set your appointment with. How long do you have to wait in bank for the account to be completely open? You know? I am staying approximately one hour. Approximately one hour. Right. Because right. as I said, business accounts are... A bit more tedious. So. Yes, it's a bit more. Because especially when you have a lot of directors right. and all the directors have to be KYC compliant. Mm -hmm. Now, KYC compliant means know your customer. So 
we have to have all these documentation for all the directors yeah. and the company secretary. Right. So if you have five directors on a company, we have to have your IDs, mm -hmm. your TRN, and it depends on the company. I say IDs because it depends on the company. Right. We have different com companies that are classified. So we have sub, we have high risk, medium risk, and mm -hmm. low risk. Right. So a certain company um, is on the high risk. Based on the fact that you're on the high risk, you need two IDs. Right. So each director needs two IDs. Mm -hmm. If you're low risk, the one ID will do. Okay. So we need two references, your ID and TRN, and proof of address. And that is what is KYC compliant. Okay. okay. What, give me an example of what you classify as like a high risk customer. All right, high risk customers. Example, construction companies. They okay. fall under high risk. Right. Okay. Entertainment, mm -hmm. cameos. Those companies are, right. and this is a list of few of right. the companies that fall under high risk. The other thing you'll have, com um, like car dealer, car dealership. Mm -hmm. So if you're a small business and you you want to import cars, right. you have to have a trade board license. Right. You can't you can't <laughs> open the account once the registration say mm -hmm. um, car sales or motor vehicle sales. You have to have a dealership license. license. And you have to present that to the bank in order yes. to have that account open. And that is where we're having a lot of persons coming in. They want to know why they can't open. They, they're, not, they're operating their business uh, through our next person. So they don't right. have a dealership license, but they have a friend that have a license and they carry the car through them. Right. They, they ask the other person. Right. But they, but can't. they can't open an account and get their jigs like how right. they would want to. So. Right. Um, what about micro loan businesses? Uh, yes, yeah, so those will also fall under high risk. So how do they but get to do. open the accounts with you, seeing that they fall under the high risk categories? That they need a license? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. um, no man, micro, microfinance company, no. It's just that we don't know where the funds are originating from. Right. Right, so basically they will fall under the high risk also mm -hmm. because of the, the amount of funds that they have to have on their account in order to lend right. these, um, these first Right. But it is, we open it just the same mm -hmm. um, and we take two IDs from the directors. Two IDs. Two IDs. Okay, so if it is that you, your company has, for example, five directors as you mentioned in the example, um, Will all directors need to be present to open the business bank account? Not necessarily. No. Once we have their IDs, as I said to you before, we email you these documents, documents right. because you have some persons that won't be available right. on the day. So we, to avoid all of this, we email you the documents and we ask you and we give you a checklist. Right. So once you come in, if the directors are not there, fine. Mm -hmm. One person has to be there so that we can check off and if we have any questions, mm -hmm. we can say, um, anybody, any, anyone to sign, any two to sign. Right. These are the questions that we actually want to know if it's two persons to sign right. at any given time, right. so forth. But they don't have to. They don't have to be there. Okay. And finally, the benefits. What benefits do NCB offer to small business owners out here in Jamaica? Okay. So I'm very proud to say that NCB offer a lot to our business customers. And over the past five years, we're focusing on the SMEs, right. the small business, um, mm -hmm. small micro businesses. Right. And we realize that persons are moving away from walking with cash. So the first thing is our point of sale machine. Right. So we have our, and that's common, our merchants. So we have the point of sale machine. Even a taxi driver mm -hmm. can have a, a point of sale right. machine. Um, also, to speak about the fact that if you offer a service, you don't have to be registered. So if you're a hairdresser, right. um, a barber, um, a taxi driver, right. you don't have to. You can use your personal, personal phone right. or what we'll flag it as personal business. business. Okay. So you can still access our point of sale machines. Um, just the same, mm -hmm. um, operating your personal account, right. even though it's a personal right. business account, right? right. But true, you, you offer a service. We don't, um, we don't, we don't say you have to be registered right. because it doesn't to, require you to be registered either. Right, you're doing a service in your name, for right? Example. So we don't. So you can get a point of sale machine mm -hmm. from that. That's nice. But most businesses, because um, is taking up the point of sale machine. Having a point of sale machine now, what we do. Um, once you reach six months, mm -hmm. you get a startup card. Mm -hmm. So you, you take out the point of sale machine, mm -hmm. 
we give you a startup card of five hundred thousand right. dollars. We don't we don't know nothing about you, but we say okay to boost your business, we give you five hundred thousand dollars on a credit card. Right. Once you have the point to save machine and you're six months registered. Wow. Yes. Best. How do you, you access this? I tell you about my bank. How do you right? access this? How do you it's, claim this? Uh, no, it's easy. That's, as I said to you, it's, it's, it, we package. Right. We package it with a point of sale machine. Right. So you, because now you're a merchant and you're going to have things coming in onto mm. your, on your account. Right. So we say, okay, we're going to help you. Mm -hmm. Give you $500,000 on a startup card. Right. It was 100000 and mm. we've increased it to 500000 Right. Right. On a startup card. Right. So um, that's it on the merchant side. Mm -hmm. Once you reach one year, you can get a bigger limit. So we once they we see what is coming in on the account, mm -hmm. then you will receive um, a bigger limit. We can get another card, right. or we can increase your limit. Right. Okay. Um, we give loans. You know, right. most small business need a boost, and we realize that um, businesses need help, mm -hmm. right? If you have the idea, you want um, to push off and take your business to another level. Mm -hmm. However, you're short on capital. Right. So what we, we do after two years though, mm -hmm. we say, okay, we see what's happening on your account mm -hmm. and we offer you a loan. Right. And yeah. also with a point of sale machine, mm -hmm. once you reach two years, mm -hmm. we offer you a loan. Your, your name comes down on the list right. to say this person is qualified for right. X amount of money mm -hmm. based on their turnover on their account or the usage of the point of sale machine. Okay. And right. what are the interest like on these loans? So because it's an unsecured loan, mm -hmm. it's currently, because interest rates have gone up, right. it's 15% right. unsecured. Mm -hmm. So we have two types. So even if we don't take um, you don't have a point of sale machine, mm -hmm. you can still qualify for a loan. Right. Um, we call it quick mm -hmm. But you have to be an NCB customer um, for at least two years, two years. and we offer you a loan. Okay. Okay? And it's the same interest rate, 15%. Okay. Alright, what I love about NCB though is your merchant account in terms of websites and development and the payment gateways that you offer. As a matter of fact, we're leading towards that now where we're trying to offer payment gateway solutions for customers and we tend to lean towards NCB because it's easier to work with you and I believe that you're leading in that industry right now um, as it relates to setting up payment gateway platforms on um, like you know, being able to accept payments Figaro, on your website, right? right, 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 right. Like Figaro, right? So, right. so tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit more about that. Too. All right. The thing is, I'm not in that particular department, right. but it comes with the same point of sale machine. Right. So that the our payment our payment too. services division. Mm -hmm. They offer the point of sale machines mm -hmm. and they offer the e-commerce. So we call right. it e-commerce. The persons do this. We set up the platform for the customer, mm -hmm. and they can um, take payment by. Um, over the um the internet yeah, yeah, so right. right so it is it once we say ncb we say merchant right right, right. so we give you the full package right there's no limit to what we can do in terms of um the merchant okay, okay? all right kami thank you so much for coming in i really appreciate no it and i'm pretty sure the atv family appreciates yes. it as well um we, we definitely will be working together by the way to have opening the business account a little bit more easier for you ATB family members out there so just stay tuned um, for more on that but that's coming soon yeah. and uh, thank you so much for being here I really appreciate it so there you have it and if this doesn't give you a wake-up call I don't know what will but that's not all we're offering the service of opening a business bank account without you having to leave your home yeah you heard me so send us a whatsapp message dm us on instagram or request support for more information and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss information on how to start grow and legitimize your business